Now you gave, uh, you, you created uh, uh, properties and gave uh, prominent roles to many black uh, actors. Was this done consciously or was it just a natural evolution of things? Well, it started as a natural evolution. We had good times on the air. And uh, as a result of Esther Roll being so uh, attractive and uh, talented on, uh, on Maud. Once we had Good Times on it, Good Times was received by the black press, heralded by them. It was a great breakthrough. We were looking at the reality of black life. A man was holding two jobs, sometimes three jobs, and we were looking at the nitty-gritty of black life in Cabrina Green in Chicago. But after a year and a half of that, we began to read, why are they all working two jobs, three jobs? Why can't there be uh, fairly affluent? Why aren't we looking at another slice of, uh, of black life? Is this valid? And, uh, yeah, it was, well, I don't think it was particularly valid for our company. We were doing what we could do, but it was valid for television generally. And, uh, and then we said, let's do an upwardly mobile black family out of that, you know, uh, spanking. And, uh, and we did it with the Jeffersons. And as a matter of fact, the opening song, Moving On Up, you know, and we, we, t we did it literally. And uh, all of these shows were successful. That's not to suggest that you didn't have some failures along the way. No, we had a bunch of failures, you know. I mean, some people will tell you, uh, looking back, I'm reading a lot about, uh, about, uh, well, the, either the black shows we did in the 70s aren't discussed in much of what I read in television criticism. I think it's been written by 30-year-olds and below who don't even know about these shows. Uh, but when it is written about seriously, the character of J.J. in Good Times, uh, played by Jimmy Walker, is now looked at as a caricature. Well, he was anything but a caricature at the beginning. I mean, he was, he was a gifted artist. We did a show that I treasure, which he drew a black Jesus and, and, and had a bunch of research to prove that Jesus was black and that's why he drew him. It's a terrific episode. But he was serious. And, uh, uh, but what happens in television so often is the character discovers something. His was dynamite. He said dynamite, the audience went crazy. By the way, w the, one of the experiences with that show was watching, for the first time, black audiences being attracted to the tapings. And pretty soon, 50, 60 percent of every audience was black. And they give to theater the way they give to preachers and churches. And They don't sit on their know, hands. They don't sit on their hands or their emotions and they, you know, well, that was the greatest experience, to see the beginning of that, to see a black audience giving full voice to seeing themselves up there. Uh, it was a great experience. But too much dynamite, you know, uh, uh, two years later is viewed as, uh, as a cliché, not cliché, as a caricature. And... Uh, he was also viewed as somewhat shiftless, wasn't he? The character. Not working, lazy, maybe. No. Well, he, 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 that's not the way he was written uh, at all. I mean, I can show you episode after episode where he mattered in working and mattered in, in, in stories that were very serious stories, drugs and alcohol. And he, he was wonderful. But we allowed him uh, for the sake of uh, getting those laughs, those easy laughs, to repeat himself too much which I see all over television. I mean, you know, uh, Carol and, and Jean, and I mean, you, you rely on the gifts you have as an actor, but unfortunately, American television makes you do it 26 times 